What is up, guys? My name is Freddy. This is Artie. What is we are Do More Things, guys. Here on this channel, I watch movies for the first time. Uh, and you guys get to react and live, love, and laugh right alongside of us. Yep. And I'm kind of like the shaman. Artie's uh, the movie shaman. I'm, I'm guiding you through the, the film... The, way, the film Wasteland, dude. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You're the, Artie's a film Sherpa. On this <laughs> Pretty much, dude. And I'm the film noob. I'm the coyote, dude. Artie's a film coyote, dude. <laughs> We're gonna watch, um... The Big Short? The Big Short. I've never seen it. It looks really good. I've seen uh, Inside Job, which is related to this. But Inside Job is more of a documentary. This is gonna be more of like... Just, right? Uh, maybe a little bit a little bit of both. Let's Why don't we... Uh, let's just dive right into it. Let's just dive right into it and check it out, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, get to it. Yeah, so Inside Job was really good. I used to work in this field, in investments. I know I'm gonna like this movie. We all know about bonds. You give them to your snot-nosed kid when he turns 15. Maybe when he's 30, he makes 100 bucks. Boring. True. You might not know who he is, but he changed your life more than Michael Jordan, the iPod, and YouTube put together. <laughs> the mortgage-backed security or private label MBS. You've got your average person's mortgage, fixed rate, 30 years, boring. When you have thousands of them all bundled together, suddenly the yield goes up, but the risk is still small because, well, they're mortgages. And who the hell doesn't pay their mortgage? The money came raining down. <laughs> and for the first time, the banker went from the country club to the strip club. It became boring old banking. And then one day, almost 30 years later in 2008, oh yeah, it all came crashing down. Well, those AAA ratings, uh, they were paid for, I think. I don't know if they, they get into it. Like, they paid industries to give them fake ratings. It's a whole thing. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure, you know, that's what the inside job was about. Hopefully they mention that here, too. They took good mortgages and some shitty ones. They bundled them together. They paid people to rate them to AAA, and then they sold them. The whole world default. And, I mean, there were very specific identifiers extremely recognizable i mean for instance one, 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 one. i feel like he's playing a character that acts that way it's a. Uh, this is kind of based on a true story yeah on inside. but it's kind of interesting seeing him play like a character like he's stammering and he's you know he's oh yeah, like... yeah, yeah yeah he's a method actor dude. you have a very nice haircut did you do it yourself no, I, uh... <laughs> I would have said, yeah, because I do cut my own hair. Yeah. Ask me. I'm like, went up. That's strange. Huh. No, 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 it's, it's housing. Housing is always stable, low risk. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. I want you to get me the uh, uh, top 20 selling mortgage bonds. So you want to know what the top 20 selling mortgage bonds are? No, 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 no. I want to know what mortgages are in each one. I met with this retail banker yesterday. I'm supposed to be getting him to invest in our fund, but instead, I start grilling him about overdraft penalties and how his bank let a customer write 10. You suffered a terrible loss. Maybe you want to talk about that? I don't talk about that. Hold on. Hold on. Shit. Blackberries, dude. Sorry. That's how you know sorry. we're in the right time for you. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't care, Porter. This guy's whole business is built on ripping people off. How long can that last? 95, 30 days He's going through each mortgage that it's like bundled and trying to see like the ones that are like fucked or whatever. It's pretty confusing, right? Does it make you feel bored or stupid? <laughs> well, yeah. it's supposed to. I went to school for this. Wall Street so loves no. to use confusing <laughs> terms really. to make you think only they can do it's what pretty they based. do. Or even better. For you just to leave them the fuck alone. Our friend Michael Burry found out that these mortgage bonds that were supposedly 65% AAA were actually just mostly full of shit. So now he's going to short the bonds. Reads them. Only the lawyers who put them together read them. I don't think that they even know what they've made. The housing market is propped up on these bad loans. I mean, it's a time bomb. We're not <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna get a bank to 
to make me one. And then I'm gonna buy it. It's kind of tight. Excuse right? Me. He's gonna bet against the, the housing market. But Let me ask you this. the guy's right. How are you gonna do it? Like, you know, if you go up, uh, open a Robin Hood, there's only certain like stocks, options. There's only certain things that you can get. Okay. In order to make a new like contract, you either have to be a giant bank or you have to go to a giant bank and say, hey, he was lit. I'm curious to see how he's gonna, like, what bank he's gonna go to and how he's gonna pitch it. Yeah, how he's gonna get this uh, investment, like, security created. If the underlying bond fails. You want to bet against the housing market? Why? Those bonds only fail if millions of Americans don't pay their mortgages. That's never happened in history. If you'll excuse me, Dr. Berry, it seems like a... Uh, I, I want to be certain um, of payment um, in case of solvency issues with... Wow. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm sorry, are you for Hey, guys, if you guys go broke, can I get paid? You bet against the housing market, and you're worried we won't pay you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Sacks look into each one of those... You know, why didn't they do the same research, research as him? If they're, they're making this instrument for him, like... Is there any way to do 200 million? Oh! I told you we'd meet later. Unfortunately, it's in a place like this, which I would never be. I never hung out with these idiots after work, ever. I had fashion friends. Hope he gets involved Apparently in fucking... this guy wanted 200 million credit default swaps. Randall made the sale, can you believe it? Somebody... Well, that's, that is risky. We he, lose he, he keeps paying little by little, you know, every, every premiums couple. until it fails, which sucks because, like, you know, you have to time it pretty well. Like, that's your account manager for the whole firm. Yeah. And he just spent all your money. Yeah. He's like, trust me, guys. Have you lost your fucking mind? But that other guy who's, um, what's his name? What's the actor's name? The guy uh, from the uh, fucking... Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Ryan Gosling. I hope he gets involved. I hope he sees what's happening. And he thinks, dude, there's no way someone would do this unless they knew some big shit. Let me get in contact. I hope he gets involved. I have no idea, you know? But yeah, I mean, he, you know, like they said, he did what nobody else did. He looked. He looked, yeah. He looked at the fucking, uh, you know, each mortgage. I, I, and he saw, like, I wonder were, if that really happened, because this is kind of, like, based on a true thing. Probably. But if that really happened, hey, I just sold 200 million at a fucking club. The guy's like, hold on. And then he goes talk to his homie. And that's how the fire starts. Yeah, yeah. Mark's numbers guy. Do you even know how to do laundry? Make okay. a bed? Vinny lost his father to a violent crime when he was young. Just like Mark, he didn't talk about it. I don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, some office shit. Think about that. What was this guy's name? Jared Vanette. Vanette. That's right. These lucky sons of bitches caught wind of one of the best trades in Wall Street. Crazy. Because they had the, the... Yeah, yeah. Wow. They should have paid 10% <laughs> to my fuckstick assistant. His name was Jared. Let's see what you got. I'm sorry. You smell that? What is that? What? What's that smell? The cologne? No. Opportunity. No. Money. Okay. Money. 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 Okay. What's made by the US government? The modern ones are different. They're private. And they're made up of layers of tranches. No income verification. Adjustable rates. Dog shit. That's actually trash. Imagine having the a mortgage payment one, one month and the next month it like double. Yeah, you know, I pay like fourteen hundred for my mortgage and then next month they pay like four thousand. Like what well, like how the fuck am I gonna pay that? It's like and they had these adjustable rates. I don't un fully understand it, but you know, people's mortgages thing? yeah, people's mortgages were changing. They were shooting no up and they literally like lost their houses. Okay. You're saying that at eight percent the bonds fail and we are already at four percent? That's right. If they go to eight, it's Armageddon. Yeah, that's right. I'm completely sure of the math. Look at him. Attentative. My math specialist. Look at him. You notice anything different about him? <laughs> wow, dude. He won a national math competition in China. He doesn't even speak English. Actually, my name's Jiang, and I do speak English. Jared likes to say I don't because he thinks it makes me seem more authentic. And I got second in that national math competition. And aren't you the bank? I work for the bank. I don't think like a bank. Big bank, small bank, I like to make money. All right? Let me put it this way. I'm standing in front of a burning house, and I'm offering you fire insurance on it. How can these <laughs> underlying bonds be a CDO? Yes, a CDO. What is that? This is where we take a bunch of Bs, double Bs, and triple Bs that haven't sold, and we put them in a pile. And when the pile gets large enough, the whole thing is suddenly considered diversified. And then the whores at the rating agency give it a 92, 93% AAA rating. 
Chef on a Sunday afternoon setting the menu at a big restaurant. I ordered my fish on Friday, which is the mortgage bond that Michael Burry shorted. What am I gonna do? Throw all this unsold fish, which is the triple B level of the bond, in the garbage and take the loss? Lefty and morally onerous chef that I am, whatever crappy levels of the bond I don't sell, I throw into a seafood stew. See, it's not old fish. It's a whole new thing. And the best part is they're eating three-day-old halibut. That is a CDO. Suppose either happens. The rating agencies were paid off too. I wonder if they'll talk about that. That's America's housing market. You know how things have triple A, like they, they were paid off like, hey, rate this like a little higher, like a, you know. Fucking hate That's what they talk about in inside job. I mean, how come you don't hate this guy? He's everything you taught us not to trust. I can't hate him. He is so transparent in his self-interest that I kind of respect him. Would I buy a car from him? No. <laughs> <laughs> right about Brownfield that. funds? Yes. yes. Hey. Hello. Ted. Chris. Chris. I'm on Ted's desk. Okay. And it? Of course. We're doing 30 million right now, um, but we started four years ago with 110,000. Wow. So as you can see, that's pretty phenomenal pretty returns. We want to get an ISDA agreement with J.P. Morgan so we can uh, deal with capital requirements for an ISDA. By how much? Uh, how much? Uh, one billion four hundred seventy. <laughs> so, uh, see you guys. A lot. This makes us they look only, bad. Doesn't only manage it? thirty. Didn't know what the capital required. Make it past the lobby. I don't think I can do this anymore. You know, Damn, dude. I'm young yet. I can still do something with my life. I miss Colorado anyway. The weed's better. Gentlemen, I need you to leave. I says that the housing market's a giant bubble. That's how these guys get involved? Okay, so this part isn't totally accurate. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> we didn't find Jared Bennett's housing bubble pitch in the lobby of a bank that rejected us. The truth is, um, a friend had told Charlie about it, and I read about it in Grant's Interest Rate Observer. This is crazy. <laughs> this is kind of a cool crazy way to stuff. tell a story. Yeah. Start a $30 million fund? Like, that's Rick crazy. Was a former trader in Singapore for Chase who quit the whole game in disgust. He just happened to be Jamie's neighbor when they were in Colorado, and they met walking dogs. What's up, man? Uh, what do you want? Hello, I'm surveying mortgage owners who are over 90 days delinquent. I'm looking for a Harvey Humpsey. You want my landlord's dog? What Your the fuck? Mortgage application using his dog's name? I guess so. Wow. Wait, has that asshole not been paying his mortgage? Because I've been paying my rent. Well, yeah, he, he is over 90 days delinquent. Seriously. These guys are doing like foot. Oh, I don't have to leave. That sucks, dude. Wait, these guys are doing like what research? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're trying to figure out if this guy's legit. Oh yeah. That's a problem, dude. Um, you, His you landlord. Talk to your landlord about that. I'm sorry, I don't have any more information. But you, um, you have a great day. See Jesus you. Christ. Wait a minute. Wait. All of it. What? The contracts are voided. The contracts are voided. Holy shit! Oh motherfucker! Michael. Give me my money back. Ridiculous. He let it go for that. He let it go for that. Yeah. It will break his heart, but he'll let it go. Why is he selling? Neither one's working right now. Actually, Everyone's doing their own little, like, broker, personal street that? research or whatever. Yeah. Yes, yes, He's pretending to buy a house? Yeah, yeah. bitch better like me. The flow. Good for you. Oh. Your companies don't verify. What a nightmare, dude. If I ride alone on Friday afternoon, Big bank is gonna buy it by Monday lunch. Yeah, same here. Could you hold on a second? So the banks are buying the position that they won't pay it, and they're gonna get some money anyways. Banks are selling really shitty loans. I don't get it. They're they're Why giving they they're giving anyone a loan, and then they're taking that and they're selling that to like investment right. firms that then package those together. Like those guys don't give a fuck. Those guys are just writing loans and getting bonuses. Look, I'm a yield guy. Okay. I make two thousand. On a fixed rate prime loan, right? But I can make ten thousand on a subprime adjusted. Trust me, I'm not driving a seven series without strippers. No one on the pole has good credit, and they're all cash rich. They would just give hey, you know, house loans to anyone. Hey, hey, hey this is what <laughs> they would just give okay. house to anyone, dude. Swaps on the MBS. What do we got? When the teaser rate expires, you know, I whatever the they gave these people these weird like small interest rates, and then that expired, and then your fucking mortgage. Triple, double, whatever. Whatever you're paying in rent or whatever you're paying, it's you know exploded. Right now I get the sprinkles, and yeah, if this goes through, I get the chair. But you get the Sunday, Vinny. You get the Sunday. 
All right, I buy that. Thank you. So what do you say? You want me to make you a market? Yeah. We'll take 50 million. Garibaldi 4, triple B. Sharpen your pencils. I'll get the paperwork ready. They about to go down or what? <laughs> Yeah, eventually people can't fucking like, you know, when the rates go up, when the, their teaser rate is over and the adjustable rate like kicks in, they can't fucking pay the mortgages. They default on their loan, which means that the, this, you know, the whole security Hi, is dog hot. shit. Big ass right pension right funds right bought these securities, you know, because it was supposed to be triple A raiders. It's supposed to be safe. Just how it is. Standard and Poor's help you? Well, we don't understand why the ratings agencies haven't downgraded subprime bonds since mm. the underlying loans are clearly deteriorating. Well, the delinquency rates do have people worried, but they're actually within our models. So, says you. You're convinced the underlying <laughs> mortgages in these bonds are solid loans. That is our opinion. Have yes. you cracked the tape? Have you looked at the loan level data? What do you think? I we mean, do you're giving these loans day? to anybody with a with a credit score Excuse and a pulse. Me, sir, what? Didn't give the banks the AAA percentage they wanted. If we don't give them the ratings, they'll go to Moody's right down the block. If we don't work it's competition, with them, they will go yeah. to our competitors. Not I, our fault. Simply the way the world uh, works. is. I mean, Inside Job says that they were paid, but that's where I remember. But this is also oh, pretty shit. shitty. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, Ben. <laughs> ben, look. Either the banks are clueless and they don't know how to value these CDOs, or they're such crooks that the CDOs are worth shit and they're hiding it. I think we should buy more swaps. What? You're gonna go derper, dude. Make sense. I think we need to go to Vegas. What's in Vegas? Vegas. What the hell's in Las Vegas? <clears throat> the American Securitization Forum's there next week. Every bond and CDO salesman, subprime lender, and swap trader is gonna be there. I'm telling you, your bet is against dumb money. It's about time you find out just how dumb that money really is. Eventful? <laughs> <laughs> Uneventful. Okay, I've been here for six hours. I've already been to the gym, I had two poached eggs, and I played blackjack with Harry Dean Stanton. Thank you for okay. your diary. FaceTime. Just I'd remember, like some we're FaceTime. Here just to gather information. We're gathering information, okay? We're not advertising our short position, right? We don't want to spook everybody. Can we do that? I know you got a big mouth, you like to run it. Can you just okay. keep it shut for a few days? Okay. Yeah, don't okay. worry. We'll play nice. <laughs> it's sick, man. Business is good. Is Profits it? Profits are strong, and the subprime losses stop at five percent. Thank you. I would say it is a very strong probability, indeed. So, um, back to the residential sector. When we rolled out the new variable rates package, me. The, um, <laughs> yes, sir. Zero. Prime losses will stop at five percent. Zero. Excuse me. I have to take this. I'm he must sorry. be from Bank <laughs> of America. <laughs> yeah. Consumers reacted to our packages. <laughs> Mark Brown really did that. When we were in Vegas, he did that. He said Ace. that. He took the call. Now you see what I had to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> They break it down to like nitty gritty. This All right, they did put no these in double A's and you know. Not even Balmer Berry thought to short the double A's. But we did. Little brown hole capital. So Brown. we're interested in shorting some of the double-A tranche of uh, CDOs. Come on, guys, what's the angle? I've got no angle. We're new to this. We're just so... Those bankers are so confident that the double-A's are good, you know? Yeah. They're so confident in, like, the ratings. That's why they're like, okay, fine. The American economy. Fuck yeah, we did. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Which means... Oh. Yeah. Which means, if we're right... A lot of people are gonna hurt. If we're right, people lose homes. People lose jobs. People lose retirement savings. People lose pensions. We're just excited. That guy's jaded, man. Just don't fucking dance. Jaded, <laughs> right? Send, yeah, send his ass oh, to his room, dude. Let's go get some fucking drinks, dude. Fuck you. He <laughs> has parts of CDO B, and CDO B has parts of CDO A, but then they both get put inside CDO C. Yeah, that one's called CDO Square. CDO of a CDO. All right? And then there's CDOs made up on the opposite side of the bed you made with your swaps. We call them synthetic CDOs. What did you synthetic say? Synthetic CDOs. Synthetic CDOs. That is fucking crazy. It's not. It's awesome. 
<laughs> I, that guy doesn't give a shit about anything other than fees for what he's selling. Yep. He's not like you know. He's not tied to the investment. He's not gonna take a loss. He's just like, yeah, I'm, I just, I'm selling dog shit and I'm making money. Here's how a synthetic CDO works. Let's say I bet ten million on a blackjack hand. Ten million because this hand is meant to represent a single mortgage bond. Classic error in basketball. It's called the hot hand fallacy. A player makes a bunch of shots in a row. People are sure they're gonna make the next one. People think whatever's happening now is gonna to continue to happen into the future. Selena Gomez. I bet you 50 million she wins. And I'll give you a three to one odds. Three to one odds? Okay, I'll take that bet. Now, somebody else is gonna to wanna to make a bet on the outcome of their I bet. You bet. 50 million she wins. That will lead to synthetic CDO Jeez. number two. What a nightmare. I bet you 200 million that lady in the glasses wins that bet. She probably will win. So I want great payoff. How about 21? Deal. And this will go on and on with more and more synthetic CDs. <laughs> and we can transform an original $10 million investment into billions of dollars. Jesus Christ. In fact, let's do this. I'll tell you how much I'm worth. You tell me how much you're worth. You are an incredibly <laughs> big piece of shit. Our agreement allows me to take extraordinary measures when markets aren't functioning properly. I currently have reason to believe the mortgage bond market is fraudulent. So, in order to protect investors from oh, this fraudulent market, I've decided to restrict investors' Ooh, withdrawals. That's how you get a bunch of people pissed off. That's how you get a bunch of people calling the office. Michael J. Burke. Get ready. Or you get like um, like an investigation. You can't just tell people, hey, you can't withdraw. Oh, well, I have an agreement that I can. Yeah, but I'm saying you can't. Like, that's a fucking... I don't know how he's going to get away with it. Boom. There it is. Yeah. But he's trying to protect their money because if they take it out, then they're fucked. And himself in a way, and he's he's so convinced that he's right, you know? I don't know what the legality of it, I, I feel like this is like a big, yeah, oh yeah, like this is a big deal. Like you can't just do that. I don't think you can, because there's agreements. There's like liquidity agreements. They, it's their money, they have the right to it, you know? You can't just tell people, hey, no, I can't, I'm not giving it back to you. Like, uh, fuck you. Well, <sighs> Kathy thinks that it would be a good idea if we sold our shorts. What else is there? And she said that Morgan Stanley will buy them. Holy shit. What did you say? I told her we're not selling shit. Because they want to buy it at a cheaper price? Maybe because Morgan Stanley finally is getting a wind of what's going on. Benny Klieger over at Morgan is taking out some heavy losses in the bond department. Your ship might be taking on water. It might be time to get a life jacket and get out. Holy shit. I'm jacked. Holy shit. I'm jacked! I'm jacked to the test! Good. Do you feel it? No. So, they they bought these credit default swaps. I think. Okay. Never. Now that everything's starting to tank, I think now the big banks are catching on. I think they're you know they're trying to like because they're unloading their shitty investments. What's your exposure? Three billion. Please don't tell me it's more than four. I can't answer that. I can't answer. Yes, you can answer that because I walk in. The long exposure is 15 billion. I mean, it's not more than. <laughs> yeah, I hardly got cell phone or Wi Fi service. I'm trying to sell $200 million worth of securities in a pub. It smells like sheep. Uh, what's your notional value? Base value is $205 million. All right, we could, uh, we could go to 40. No, we want at least a hundred million. A hundred million? What are you, mm. a drug dealer or a banker? Because <laughs> if you're a banker, you can fuck right off. Eighty-four. Seventy-eight. Eighty-four. It's Dr. Burry. Looks like the collapse of the financial sector is imminent. I'm gonna start to sell my position. It's one point three billion. I'm guessing something's gonna kick in sure. before they they sell. I'm guessing they're you know no shot.
So I was right. I took a rash of shit for two years, but I was right. And everyone was wrong. And yeah, I got a bonus check for it. Better than this, I really did. And the fact that we're not doesn't make me feel all right and superior. It makes me feel sad. Every time I fucking hit refresh, it's dropping, man. It Every always time. goes. Yeah. And as fun as it is to watch pompous, dumb Wall Streeters be wildly wrong, and you are wrong, sir. I just know that at the end of the day, average people are going to be the ones that are going to have to pay for all of this. Uh, Mr. Miller, I'm sorry, quick question. From the time you guys started talking, Bear Stearns stock has fallen more than 38%. Would you still buy more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, of course I'd buy more. Why not? Boom. Mark, are you there? Mark. Halston and Bernanke just left the White House. There's going to be a bailout. Well, they had to. Right? I mean, paper markets would have They collapsed. knew. Cash would have stopped coming out of ATM. They had to backstop this. Mark was wrong. In the years that followed, hundreds of bankers and rating agencies executives went to jail. That's not true. The SEC was completely overhauled and... Just kidding. Banks took the money the American people gave them and they used it to pay themselves huge <laughs> I was like, no, no, I did it. Congress to kill big reform. And then the bad guys here, we just defraud the American people and prey on their dreams of owning a home. All right, they did. Now we get to kick them in the teeth. Billion dollars. That's right. But we got to close out our position or it could be zero. I mean, it, 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 it's now or never, Mark. Okay. Sell it all. Uh-oh. The ride, the ride never ends, man. We might be in a housing bubble right now. The ride never ends, dude. I understand a lot of this on the high level. When they start getting into these nitty gritty, I lose track of what's what, you know? They did a good job at explaining, you know, Stuff I think. On a lower level for other people. You should watch uh, Inside Job if you like this movie. Inside Job, pretty, it's a more of a documentary. So they talk to the dudes, you know, that kind of knew what kind of was going on. And they all kind of deny it. Like they they talk to a lot of the people that work for uh, like the big banks. And they realize that a lot of the people that work for the big banks are coming from like econ schools, like Harvard, you know, whatever. Like a lot of there a lot of professors that kind of like know what the fuck's going on. Then they join Wall Street, and they just get to the money, and then they leave. It's a lot of weird shit. A lot of weird chase stuff going on. Yeah. It's a dark movie towards the end, because like the beginning of it, you're like, oh fuck, they're figuring it out, and they're like... Did Michael make money? Because Mark did, right? Mark made it... That's the, I thought everyone was going to come out ahead, but they didn't because the banks still got their way. They still did some shady shit. They still... Um, and I, I'm going to have trouble explaining it, because it gets really nitty-gritty, but we have this instrument that becomes this, and then you do the... It, you know, it gets really confusing. I think they all made a nut, but they could have made more. They, but they don't seem excited. They didn't seem excited about it. I think they, it seems like they cut losses. The brown, whatever, uh, those kids, it, those dudes. It, no, no, they, no. They got. They, they made, yeah, made they, more yeah. money because they bet on the triple A's. The double A's. The double A's. Yeah, yeah double A's. But why? Why didn't it? I guess it would. It would have been kind of dark. I guess it's the the way this movie wanted to portray this is that what happened was pretty shitty. So they didn't celebrate it. They, yeah, they didn't like celebrate it or they didn't go in because even Mark was distraught and he's like, I'm making like one million, but what at what cost? Like what fucking gold? Yeah, exactly. So I guess they they all they had to make money. There's no way they didn't. That, that's what what I don't like is that it wasn't like you know it wasn't fucking black and white. It wasn't explained. I think it's inferred that they did. But a the movie doesn't want to get too dark and too yeah. like celebratory of people's misery because now we have the guy living on the um, you know on the yeah, gas exactly. station. 
A, and then B, I think it's more of an inference like, yeah, that you have to make. But I, I like to, I want to look into it more to get the full story of these guys because I know, I know what happened in 08, and I can kind of explain it in layman terms. And they they did a good job of that. But then you start getting into the murky, like the nitty gritty, and that's where I kind of lose like. And then there were, we were following um, <sighs> the guy that made 200 million. I forgot his name already, but him going so deep into knowing that there's so many layers to even to they yeah. said they did the mark. bailout mark yeah mark. oh he's like yeah they're 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 they gonna knew, have a bailout and, and well, they knew it was gonna happen austin was i think uh george bush's financial advisor and alan greenspan or whoever they were he's like the head of the, the fed i think the federal reserve so I, I i you know i think those are the two guys he was talking about but now that they're meeting he's like oh there's gonna be a bailout like he's you know he knows he's talking coming so then i guess at the end he's like oh like we didn't see anything crazy we just you know they just it's not that they didn't see it they just didn't give a fuck so at the end of the day you know i guess the the lesson is no we didn't we didn't find anything like super hidden and crazy it's just that they don't they literally didn't care that's actually kind of wild that's kind of funny it's like if like you you know whatever you're renting a house and you do like a small home inspection and you find that the house is literally gonna like collapse overnight and you're like, dude, the landlord didn't do it. And like, he's not looking for it. Like, no, he didn't give a shit. And like, he, <laughs> he saw it. Like, yeah, he saw it. He's like, yeah, this is cool. He's like, I'll make money off you. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of, I guess, what like the ending concluded. Which is, you know. um, aside from the dark shit, do you, what do you think about the acting and like the movie storytelling? Bro? Dude, I like the way, yeah, the acting was amazing. The I like the way the characters broke the fourth wall. And they just they, talked. And- they kind of broke. The, it was kind of an interesting, cool way to like, it, it keeps it lighthearted. Um, it keeps it, yeah, it definitely keeps it lighthearted and it just gives you more information and it's kind of, and I don't know, it makes it more like a, like a documentary reenactment instead of just like a drama. It's, it's a yeah. lot of everything. It's like, you're learning a lot of stuff. There's good acting. There's good storytelling. It's fast paced. It, it, it really happened. So like, you know, you're, you're learning something that's like important and a lot of people should know. And you know, they get to, they make little clips and like, yeah, as yeah. overall it was, it was a very, I think it was a very good movie. It was really, it's like right up my alley. This is like what I would like, quote unquote, went to school for. This is what I used to work in. It's like industry or whatever mm-hmm. uh, which i don't think i want to go back to <laughs> it, it was it was like you know it, it wasn't rewarding like what do, what, do, what am i doing i'm just making old rich people more old and rich like, i don't know yeah, it, it wasn't yeah. rewarding so I, I i you know i might have to go back to it out of necessity if i can't find another job and it pays out well or whatever but it is kind of like and i wasn't i wasn't like one of those big hot shots making calls like i was doing like the, the lowly work you know? yeah, and yeah. still it's kind of like soul draining but i, I feel like most jobs in, in, in a cubicle in an office you know, yeah can be there's good sides to it for sure you get to wear like nice little you know you get yeah. to like pretend you're fucking someone but whatever. You. yeah i mean dude i love the acting the, the storytelling the way they try to dumb it down for people um because it is boring they're not they're not but that's the thing i don't find it boring i Yo, find no, it no, ama- I, I, no no it, it, it's not it's not an offense or it's just not something that like you know you're interested in or whatever like if someone was like talking to me about agriculture i probably wouldn't care but if he's like a farmer like if, you know he gives a shit like then yeah it's not to say like i won't take it offensive you're like dude that's boring like i think it's fucking amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. the way you can make like you can literally make um you know like, like the guy making he went to the bank and he made a new investment like you know a new security like that's crazy because if you go on you know your phone if you go whatever you want to buy a stock or bond you have you have to pick from what's available he literally said hey make a new one and make it do this that's like to me that's crazy yeah well because he was backed by a huge bank or yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was, was somebody. somebody. He was somebody. He, he was, he had, yeah, he was somebody. Yeah. Uh, I liked how Brad Pitt checked the guys. He was like, yo, you guys can't be fucking celebrating that against American people. And yeah. that kind of like checked the audience too. I felt like at the same level, like, hey, don't get excited because this is some fucked up shit. Yeah, and that kind of, that theme kind of spills over to the end, which is, I feel like. Yeah, that's why there's no like happy ending yeah. or like. I mean, Ben tells him, oh, you guys wanted to be rich. Here you go. Like, yeah. You guys did it. Cool. You know, it's not going to show them, like, fucking making a bunch of money. But at the end, I think it's implied. Yeah, everyone's... Everybody made a fuck everyone ton of money. Everyone made a fuck ton of money. And you know, it's fucking crazy. I mean, they, you know, they saw it coming. But, like, we know they didn't see something that no one saw. They, the big dudes just think, oh, fuck, the banks didn't care. Yeah. They'll pay a, a, you know... They'll make $200 million in profit. They'll pay a $2 million the, fine. The dude like, that, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's insane. Was, there was a manager of CDOs getting paid by the big banks, but he didn't... Yeah. Represents the investors. That guy was a fucking nightmare, dude. <laughs> that guy was a fucking nightmare. And then when the guy hits him with, tell me how much I'm worth. I'll tell you. And you tell me how much yeah, you're worth. Just, yeah, that guy literally just gives a fuck about, like, collecting fees for selling shit. Yeah. It's like you're selling, like, lemons. You're selling shitty cars, but you're just making a bunch of money. You know they're going to break down, but you're legally protected, you know. It's it's all the same shit, man. It's all really, it's all, you know, it's all fraud. I don't know. It's very, like, yeah, like you were saying, it's, 
It bums you out. I don't know. Yeah, it can, yeah. but I, the whole, you know, the whole the whole thing, ride is fucking sick. The whole ride was sick, yeah. yeah. And it's my like my. I love hearing about the shit. I love hearing about, even though sometimes I'll get lost in like the nitty gritty of it. I like hearing about this kind of stuff. It's kind of what I worked in for seven years. Love all this shit. Inside Job was amazing. I need to watch Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, I saw it and I was a little. I had a little too much apple juice, you know. Yeah. Um, how many Freddy has been this is a four, dude. This is a, a solid four. Um, it's a, it's a really good movie. Um, I mean, I'm trying to figure out where you know what it can improve on. I feel like it would have been nice for for you know a solid confirmation that these guys actually made money. These guys didn't. Ryan Gosling's character was like, "Hey, here you go." Like, yeah, yeah. yeah he said, check. "I'm not the good guy here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not. It wasn't like I you know I'm not rooting against them just because everyone got fucked. Everyone was gonna get fucked either way. If these guys can make scratch out of yeah. it. What's the harm? Which is, I would have loved to see confirmation. All right, these guys actually made it big. That's the only, my only, you know, downside. Ever, I literally have zero complaints about anything else. It was great. Um, they explained very complicated, complicated things as easy as you possibly can. With celebrities for like, too. Yeah, that's for, right. yeah, with celebrities for a movie-going audience that doesn't even know what like a security is. You ask most people, what is a security? They don't know. And then you ask them, what's a mortgage-backed security? They know less. You know. Security is basically anything that's like tradable, like a stock, like bond option, you know. Mortgage backed securities are bundled up mortgages that together gain value. It's a whole thing. It, yeah, so they explained, <laughs> and I'm not not an expert on it. I'm not an expert on it either, but they explained things like that, that, you know, most people would have trouble understanding to the best of their ability. So, I, you know, overall, it was, it was really good. It was solid for me. Fuck yeah, man. I, I felt the same. I watched this multiple times. I'm going to have to watch it multiple times because the explanation and stuff, I oh, really yeah. want to get, you know, I really want to get an exact understanding because there were parts where they talked about this, this, and that. And I'm like, okay, I understand high level what's going on, you know, but I don't understand the nitty gritty. Yeah. So I got, I, I'm going to have to rewatch it for those parts. Yeah, that's our reaction review. Freddy liked it. I, I would say the same is about a four out of five. Um, acting. Uh, storytelling these um, types of movies man are really like they I, they showed us the inside job in one of our econ classes I, I, I'm i pretty sure they did these types of movies most people should watch them, dude. oh yeah, yeah even yeah. if they don't like fully this is like this, is, a, his, this is like history it's, oh hell yeah history uh, put down in a, in a digestible form you know um, but yeah that was our reaction review history in the making 2015 the big short thanks for watching guys catch you in the next Thank you guys.